This was the top Japanese horror movie for 2022 and was also the third highest grossing Asian horror movie of 2022. Based on a web novel, this movie has a cool concept. It's just a shame it will be remembered by its Netflix title rather than by its Japanese one, but at least we get to see it. Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans and welcome to my review of Karada Sagashi, also known as Body Search or Find My Body or, as you may know it as its Netflix title, Remember. Six classmates at a high school find themselves in the school chapel at exactly midnight. A young girl, clutching a soft toy and soaked in blood, brutally murders them all. But they awake the following morning in a loop. They're repeating the same day. With the help of one of the classmates, they work out they are stuck in the body search game, where their task is to find all the body parts of a murdered girl and assemble them in a coffin located in the chapel. But if the little girl catches them and they all die before the task is completed, they need to do it all over again. Working together and developing a sense of friendship, they devise strategies on how to assemble the body and how to defeat the mutated red monster chasing them every night. Sounds a little bit familiar, doesn't it? It's a bit like Happy Death Day, or if you're as old as me, something like Groundhog Day. But I've never read the novel that this movie is based on, so I can't talk about how close it sticks to the source material. This review will be based on the movie only. The biggest thing is though, I'm glad to finally watch it. This was the movie that trounced Sadako DX in the box office, so there is a lot of interest in this. So first, let's check out what the movie did right. I felt this movie built up the story really well and did not waste much time at the start. We get a couple of introduction shots of our main character Asuka at home to kind of develop that there's going to be a few repeating patterns such as the pumpkin croquets, uh, the cat that she meets on the desk, the bus accident. We get those establishing shots really early so we know the things that we're looking for further on to understand that the day is looping. And this is good because what we've also introduced to is six very likable characters. Now, say what you will about them. I think that all six of them are quite likable. You've got Asuka, who's the main character, who's um the loner. It, it, I don't buy it for a second that Kana Hashimoto will ever be a loner in high school, but, you know, there's that. We've got the, um, the sports uh, guy who uh, doesn't want to take professional basketball, so he's just at school. We've got the guy who never turns up to school. We've got uh, the nerd that always gets picked on. We've got the class um, president. And then we've got this other girl who um, seems to be having a, an affair or seems to be in a relationship with a guy who rides a motorcycle. None of them are horrible characters. None of them are awful people do awful things to those characters, but they are not awful characters. And that's what makes this great. It's also not afraid to be gory. And the format that it has means it has to kill off the characters and it's really not afraid to do it. We don't know exactly how many times they repeat the evening. They, they clearly repeated a lot because by the end of the film, we can see that they know exactly what they're doing. We know exactly where they're going. But it's great that during the movie, you'll see characters getting killed three or four times and in completely different ways. It all really gory. So that part of the movie, really appreciate it. It might not always be creative the way that they die, but at least they're different. There's some great, you know, kind of slicing in half deaths, um, you know, getting killed by the fan or just just the little girl just pounding the, the head of the person against the wall. Uh, you know, some of the deaths happen off scene, so we don't quite know how they happen, but it's still cool to see that it's not afraid to kill people off and do it quickly. The movie does get the theme of friendship and camaraderie right. The downside of that bit is that we get a genre shift in the movie. And I felt personally that it never fully explored going into being a full on horror film. It starts off as a horror thriller. It then turns into kind of a teen drama coming of age movie and then turns into a mystery movie, then goes back to being a horror thriller. But we don't get 144, min um, yeah, 144 minutes of pure horror. There's a genuine sense though by the end of the film that all the characters have grown, that they are all friends. Now, it is a little saccharine the way it's done. It's it's far too perfect in how they all become friends and how they all kind of stick together. And I think part of that's got to do with all that pop music that's used throughout. There's a lot of J-pop in it. But by the end of the film, these guys are working together. They're working in sync. They're looking out for each other. And that's that seemed to be the theme of the movie, the friendship, the camaraderie, the taking yourself out of loneliness and, and finding someone uh, that you can relate to. That movie gets that sense across. I also think that the little hunter, the little girl, 
She's very creepy. And she does the stalking bit really well. And even towards the end of the movie, so spoiler here, but towards the end of the movie where uh, the little girl evolves into something else, um, it, it does look a bit stupid. It does look a bit silly, but it's still creepy. And we get the idea that this movie really is playing on a trope of Japanese high school students, that, you know, their fears of the world, their fears of the, the big outside world, of being forgotten about by their friends, of just being lost in this great big world of full of people. Um, that really comes across. It's, it's you know, a common thing in these kind of movies. And you have to remember, it is a Japanese teen horror movie. It's not something like The Ring. It's not a, a full-on scare fest. Um, it is that coming-of-age movie. The movie doesn't get everything right, though. It, that's pretty obvious. Um, and I've already mentioned it, but the genre shift is a little jarring. You, you get, you know, the first 30, 40 minutes, a really solid horror thriller. Um, you know, spooky settings, dark uh, dark scenes, nice blue tinge on everything, real sense of dread and gore. And then you get a scene at the beach of all six of them just frolicking around, having fun, getting into a fight with a couple of other guys. But And this is where you start seeing the friendship building up is when, um, you know, they all the boys kind of stick up for all the girls and they fight together. But it's that genre shift that happens. Um, it goes to show that this movie was for a teen audience and not for grumpy old men like me. That's fine. Another bit that I wasn't too sold about was the reason that the movie gave at the end about why the six of them were selected for the Find My Body game or the Body Search game. This one I'm not going to blame completely on the movie. Uh, well, I have to kind of blame it on the movie, but I think that if we were to read the web novel a bit more, we would definitely understand a bit more about the six characters, their backstories, and how they really do fit together. The movie clearly doesn't have enough time to explain that. So it just kind of throws in this theme of, oh, we're all lonely, now we're not. Um, didn't quite do it for me. I, it didn't sell the reason enough for me. When you compare this to other J-horrors, and certainly we've had some very good J-horrors released in 2022 with, with the Oxhead Village, and I think Sadako DX was great. And we've still got a couple more J-horror movies that haven't come out widely yet that are you know waiting for to see. Um, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, you might have a different opinion than me. This feels more like the Battle Royale style movie rather than the J-horror, the Ring the Grudge type films. Um, you know, we've got a very much a high school setting, we've got very much death game, um, very much uh, uh, the repeating of it doesn't happen in Battle Royale. They don't keep repeating the same thing. But, you know, we've definitely got, um, you know, friendships, death, school children all together um, on, a, on a cramped place where they have to do something uh, rather than hunting each other, they're being hunted. So that, that's what I feel this category falls more into. It's that type of J action horror, uh, thriller horror. It's not the scary, the ring, the grudge type horror. Also, if we're looking at it, the ending is a little bit weak. And what I mean by that, and unfortunately, I'm sorry, it's a bit of a spoiler here. Uh, so if you haven't seen the film, maybe don't watch this next 30 seconds of the video. There's a scene where um, a character gets eaten and they get erased from the world. And I think that if that theme had been moved on for all five characters and then it had been used in real life, uh, I think that we would have had a better sense of drama, a better sense of, of horror in the movie that we really need to stay alive. We really can't let this thing eat and kill us. We've really got to work together. So I found that there was no uh, consequence or no real big action to being eaten by the monster because at the end, they all come back alive. If it was permanent, I think that would have been a little different, a nice little twist on the movie. To give the movie a rating using my ghost rating, which stands for great horror or stupid trash, this movie is a very clear three ghost movie. Um, it gets into the action really quickly. There's plenty of gory kills and a great theme of friendship and of working together. It's just let down by the tone shift and a slightly weak ending that almost, almost hits the mark perfectly. But what did you think? You've seen the movie now. What did you think of it? Am, am I on the mark or uh, did I completely miss it? What are your opinions of the film? Please leave me a comment down below. Let's have a discussion. If you like this video, like my review, please press the like button. Otherwise, I'll catch you in our next Asian Film Fans movie review.